Hello there, Sarah from 17 once again, introducing you to my Devil May Cry 3 Dante Must Die difficulty video walkthrough. This is the boss fight with Jerion on mission 12, and uh, the very first pass of this boss, you want to try and evade at the last possible instant to, to dodge the missile, because every so often he'll hit you with one. But usually, you cannot be hurt in this cheeky corner on this phase, and all you want to do is switch cancel with the spiral and smash him in the face and get plenty of stylish points and a nice bit of horse justice because this boss is a douche and the strategy for him is pretty simple when you get him down on the ground whenever he rears up if you time it correctly you can either use a helm breaker or a stinger bee but you can attack him in the face and it will knock him down when you knock him down you want to do a real impact he'll then do a move which you can jump over and then you can real impact him again. There are there's a loop to this boss. There's a couple of them, in fact. There's two different. There's a couple of ways of doing it. And I am not good at the loop by any standards, but I do implement some of that strategy in this attack. So there he is. As soon as he stops rearing, hit him in the face. He goes down. I don't real impact him. I jump away. Do not get touched by the bubble. He'll swing the carriage. Jump over it. Don't land immediately, or the flames will get you. Then hit him with a real impact. And pray to God you do it quickly, because if you don't, it will miss, he'll ride, and then you'll get hit by his carriage. Then you jump away again, he spins the carriage, you jump over it, don't go down too quickly, and then do the same. And this is literally the strategy. If you can keep him in this loop, good for you. But it's it's so fucking finicky, and it's so easy to get wrong. Because, oh, I just, I hate, I hate real impacts against this boss, because I always do the wrong move, and sometimes they miss, you'll do it absolutely flawlessly, and it'll not hit the fucking horse, it just makes no sense, I'm trying to do the, the stinger B there to knock Jerry on down to stun him again, but it didn't work, so, you'll notice, he only has like one quarter of his life left, so he's doing a different attack when he runs, instead of firing missiles at you that you can jump over, he's gonna send these time balls after you, and these time balls are fucking gay, because not only do they freeze you, but those those javelins turn up and they, they can do some serious damage if they hit you. And right there, I'm in so much trouble, but I somehow do not die. And then do I get time to do the real impact? I do! Look at that for luck. You do not want to cut it that close or you're going to have a really bad time. But I get caught in midair. I shoot Ebony and Ivory to stay raised because if I would have lowered then and hit, he would have hit me. Just like that. Look at the fucking damage of that bullshit. This boss hits so hard and it punishes your mistakes. It's really bad. I do not like it at all. But as soon as you get close, do the real impact and just pray to God it hits. To do that, the spinning kick afterwards, just keep tapping B while he's in the animation if you don't know how to do that. But get away from the swing. Land after the swing. Do not land too quickly like I did then or he'll hit you with his fucking clomper stompers. Get super lucky there by stunning him when he reared up. Kind of missed him with the real impact. Get away from it. Watch the bubble. Jump over the carriage. And then get in his face and kill the piece of shit. God, this boss sucks. But he can be killed. There you go, folks. Thanks for watching. You take care now.